Nothing like a good hot cup of coffee. TGIF, guys. Mm. Mm. Boy, that's good. I tell you what, that is perfection at its finest. I cannot complain about that whatsoever. I'm indoors today. It is hell yeah hot outside. <laughs> I went barely opened the front door and I shut it and I was just like, oh no. No way in God's green earth am I going to go out there and sit and sweat. So, um, I thank God for the air conditioner. Because <laughs> i tell you what, I would not um, make it without air conditioning. i got to be quiet too. The kids are asleep in the room next to me. Nathan will be getting up for work here in a little bit, but... I don't my nose. Anyhow, <laughs> so guess what? We're having movie night tomorrow, and we're going to see Beetlejuice, and I cannot wait. I've been watching all the trailers on TikTok pretty well. I've seen the whole movie now. That's the way trailers are. I'm just like, <sighs> I really shouldn't have watched that trailer because now it's pretty well spoiled the movie. I mean, I'm going to go see the movie. I'm going to go see the movie. I done seen too many people that have seen it and bragged about it and said it's really awesome. So I'm going to see the movie. But um, either way it goes, it's going to be exciting. Definitely, definitely exciting. And then um, probably finish up laundry, cleaning house today. Getting some good and needed uh, mopping in the kitchen and the living room. I'm going to uh, use the Mr. Green and uh, get that situated and then start preparing to go to uh, Women of Joy the first week in October. And I'm very excited about that. I think we're going to get a house. Um, Amy is looking into um, a house and it's got a jacuzzi and all kinds of things. She's got to nab it because if she doesn't nab it, then it'll be gone. And we're going to do shopping. And I'm going to get some fall soaps from Bath Body and, you know, Beyond Bath Works. And I also am going to get uh, some other deals. Yeah. There is a PhD. I looked it up. <laughs> it's a philosophy degree. You know? So there is a such thing as a PhD. I was just like, is that PH level? Or PhD. What did I just say on video yesterday? <laughs> My aunt was trying to correct me on it. She was like, I think you were meaning IQ. I know I was meaning PhD. Uh, philosophy or whatever it is. Uh, it's a teacher anyhow. So I was on TikTok yesterday too. And some of the students that have uh, survived that horrific gun shooting yesterday uh, came out and talked about their situation and my god I don't see how they can let them go back in that school for a while I mean it's full of bullet holes and, and blood and I mean it's bad it's really bad and it's like I think it would be very traumatizing for a child to walk into that situation and you know it's just bad this, this young girl that was talking about how she happened to go get a hall pass and go to the bathroom. It was in a stall. And come out of the stall and look the gunner right into the eyes. You know, the boy. She thought she was dead. And she got the security guard ushered her back into the stall and said, sitting there. And uh, that's when she heard a bunch of gunfire blazing and um, heard everything else and she, she really talked about her story and it went viral with several million uh, views and I think she's probably going to need a lot of psychological help and therapy for a while I mean that's she said I called my mom told my mom I loved her and there was a gun shooting I texted people I knew and um, it, w it was scary 
that was very scary. You know, I, I cannot imagine what that little girl went through. That is horrific. And um, I just, to think that if one of my children, one of my kids actually went through something like that, I, I can't, I cannot fathom within a million years, our society is broken. It's not a gun issue. It is our society. Our kids, our kids need help. They don't need to be plopped down in front of video games. There are violent video games all day long. And I know I'm going to get attacked from gamers. I already know it. But I'm serious. When you sit there and you program your mind to sit there and watch and do something for hours on end, you know that's what they do with the military. The military, for training, put you in front of video games. And you learn combat. Look it up. Marines is one of the biggest ones, and that's not including field. But I'm talking about actual one-on-one -on -one visual. Have you ever seen the SpongeBob commercial or the SpongeBob TV show? And SpongeBob uh, has to wine and dine one of Squidward's enemies. And so, he said, take everything out of your brain, unless it has to do with whining and dining. So, he went in and all the file cabinets, he threw away everything, and that's all he could think about was whining and dining. Until his brain started malfunctioning. You know what I mean? It started malfunctioning, and then he was just like, he didn't know what to do. And he, you know, literally obliterated. Well, that's kind of like society. You know, kids, these kids, they, I don't know how to explain it. Some are, it's just crazy. I don't want to dabble into it because I'll get in trouble. I'm just saying that uh, these kids need God. They need God badly. We need God in America again. We need God in our schools again. We need God to come back and uh, touch these children. Because if all you have in hope is this world and you don't have anything else to lean on, it would be a depressing thing. It really would. A non-ending, unhappy, depressing thing. It really would. And um, I feel for all the parents involved, all the people. It was two teachers, two students, and it was over 30, over 30 that were wounded. And we don't know the shape of the ones that were wounded. Horrible. It's, you know, that's all I can say. So on, on the, I've got a hair. I don't know if it's hair or what. I didn't want to do that in front of the camera. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, so uh, another tragic thing happened. I don't know if y'all know Pastor Greg Lock Lockie. Is it Lockie? Lockie? I try to say his name right. He's a like a Pentecostal preacher. He and his wife, they're wonderful people. I've watched <clears throat> several Pastor Greg's videos. He's a prophet. Um, he is uh, an evangelist. And uh, really, honestly, a wonderful man of God. Um, as far as that goes. And his wife is wonderful. She's in the ministry and things like that. And I was listening to one of his church members. And he is a phenomenal man of God. And I posted his uh, video. And I'm glad I'm getting some of his live posts now. Because he's an amazing human being. And he said to pray for brother and sister Lockie. That they were almost assassinated. And I guess it was Sunday night. It had to have been Sunday night when they were at church. So apparently a deranged leftist young kid went out into their front yard with a semi-automatic gun and shot up Pastor Lockie's house. Thinking that they were home. He and his entire family. I mean, bullet holes were all over the entire house. This is how society has become against Christianity. 
in America. Satan does not want the word of God preached. He wants the evil because he, this is his last chance, his last day, because he's going to get thrown into a pit. And he wants everyone to join him in his eternal punishments. You understand this? And he's going to go to whatever level that he has to, to, to do this. And, uh, you know, thank God, Pastor Lucky and his wife made it home minutes after this happened. From what I understand, the kid was still in the front yard. And they got the kid. I mean, what normal society goes and does something like that? That's just like the, the one priest that I like to watch. He's got the long beard. I can't ever pronounce his name properly. Uh, but he is a really true man of God. And somebody that was a leftist, deranged, climbed out of the audience and went up and stabbed him in the face. Live. He's still wearing a patch from the eye injury. And you know what he did? He went to the prison and he forgave the guy that did that to him. He said, son, you're forgiven. You didn't know any better. You were used as a tool by the devil. And he said, I forgive you. That took a lot of guts. It really did. <laughs> and there's been several other instances where deranged people come out and attack the preachers. It's happening a lot lately. And it is nothing more than a ploy and an attack and an attempt for the devil to stop the word of God from being preached across the United States. But the Bible says, and I can't quote the scripture. My auntie will quote it for me. I'm, I'm good about memorizing scriptures, but it, telling you exactly where it is in the Bible, ding, ding, ding. There's certain ones that I can't. But there is a scripture in the Bible that talks about, and I believe it's in Revelation, that in the last day, there's going to be a revival across the land. God is going to outpour his spirit. And he is going to give America and other countries a second chance to come back to him before, you know, and the Antichrist. He is going to, he did it in, in the Noah's days. He tried to give them a second chance. Noah preached to them for years. He preached to the parents for years. Said, get in the boat. I'll build a bigger boat. We won't put animals in it. I'll put you in it. I'll build a bigger boat. Come and help me build a boat. And we'll get out of here. But they refused. So it was just Noah and his family. And the critters. I mean, y'all want to say how cruel God was. But God gave them chances. But they were corrupt. And they were doing things that were against God. And they were bad. It must have been really bad for him to wipe out an entire, you know, flood the entire earth. It had to have been bad. And then he made a rainbow and a promise when they reached the new land that he would never flood the entire earth ever again. Now there's been floodings. But he's never flooded the entire earth. And it has been scientifically proven. You guys can Google it. That the earth was flooded. Science has been able to prove. Without a shadow of a doubt. That at one time. The earth was flooded. Science has been able to prove that at one time, God stood earth still, time stood still, and the rivers flowed backwards. They were able to prove that. So, I don't know what to tell y'all about as far as evidence goes. Because scientists are finding evidence every single day. 
they've proven that Jesus actually physically walked the earth. He's documented in history, all throughout history. He was an actual physical human being who walked this planet. There's a lot of other religions that can't prove that. I don't know why I'm getting on this topic today. Maybe it's something that needs to be needed. I don't know. But either way it goes. Um, good morning. Happy Friday morning. It's a, close to a little after 10, I think. I'm not quite sure. But I slept late. I had a major, major gout attack. How far am I? 16 minutes. I'm good. I'm, I know the culprit. I ate pepperoni and uh, Italian sausage pizza from Domino's. And it really wasn't all that great. <laughs> and within, I would say, about 45 minutes to an hour, it hit me, the gout, and I was in rough shape. I couldn't even walk. So I took my medicine, and um, I went to bed pretty early. But I did watch a movie last night. Have y'all ever watched a movie and wished that you could have unseen that movie that you watched? <laughs> I wish I could unsee it. <laughs> and I actually finished the movie. I was just like... Jennifer, turn the movie off. It is really a bad movie. You should not be watching this kind of movie. What would your grandma say if you were? she knew you were watching this kind? Because it had some vulgarity in it. I ain't going to lie. But the worst part was at the end of it, when the guy put this guy's head in the microwave and blew his head up. <laughs> I mean, he deserved it. For what he did to his daughter. I mean, you know, he really deserved it. But I was just like, uh, did I just watch that? <laughs> I'm going to have such nightmares tonight. <laughs> Actually, I did not dream. I prayed. I got in my bed and I laid there and I prayed and I told God to take away. I wish I hadn't watched it. I'm sorry, Lord. And I did not dream about it. Thank God. So if you have that issue... Just say a little prayer before you go to bed. I guarantee God will take it away for you. Because I, I was just like, I, I would never watch a movie like that again. It was called The Wrong Turn, or, or uh, no, The House on the Left. The House on the Left. That's what it was called. I, I do, if you like good gory movies, go for it. But I'm telling you, it is not for the faint of heart. I'll just put it to you that way. Okay? It's a bad movie. <laughs> and then, I went on Roku, because I was like, okay, because a lot of times I'll try to find something fun, and something good to watch, you know, to kind of replace with whatever I watched before. I turned the TV on, uh, Roku, and they have this called Movie, Movie, I don't know, it plays a lot of really good movies. And, there was this guy, and he had a staple gun, put it to this guy's forehead, and shot him in the forehead with a staple gun. Right after I watched the guy have his head blown up in a microwave. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So I just basically said, okay, this must be a night for uh, gory horror movies on television, I'm just going to turn the TV off and lay here and watch TikTok videos. And so that's what I did. I watched puppy dogs and kittens until I fell asleep. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? And now I wished I could unsee what I had seen. Because it was, like I said, it was a bad movie. <laughs> I knew better not to watch it, but, you know, you do a lot of things you don't, you, you do a lot of things you shouldn't do. I'll just put it to you that way. Okay, and the last thing I was going to talk about is I've been seeing a lot of TikTok videos. Um, a lot of TikTok videos about, um, New York. And they're wondering why, uh, the military 
is been showing up in full force and why uh you know they're putting the uh what do you call it the courthouse fences barricades up they're basically locking new york city down and there was a guy that was videotaping and he was showing all kinds of military tanks that have pulled into new york city he said what the f is going on he said i i ain't never seen nothing like this in my life in new york he said is there about to be an invasion or a raid what is going on i don't think a lot of people realize that um September the 18th, I do believe. Is it the 18th or is it the 10th? I think it's the 18th. The, is the sentencing of Donald Trump, President Trump. And um, I do wholeheartedly believe they're going to put him in prison until after the election. And he could still run for president being in prison so it really I mean it don't matter he'll win by a landslide it'll collapse the Democrat Party if they do this the Democrat Party will no longer exist it'll be all liberal leftist progressive the Democrat Party will end if they uh, make Trump a martyr and, you know, go for it. That's all I got to say. You trumped up these charges. There's no victims of fraud. Nowhere is there any victims uh, to claim that he has committed any kind of heinous crimes as far as fraud goes. These are all make-believe charges. And President Trump is immune from any type of prosecution whatsoever. Joe Biden is immune. And we know why Hunter pled guilty yesterday. They all acted shocked. They all acted like, oh my God, he pled guilty? You know, why did he plead? Because he's got a daddy in office, you stupid pricks. Of course he pled guilty. He doesn't have to face a trial. He'll get prosecuted. And his daddy will pardon him. And then what will happen is, a month before the election, he'll retire and Kamala will take over and be the first black woman president of the United States of America. She might only serve a month, but she'll be in office. Bookmark this video. Because I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. He's got some serious money laundering billions, or not billions, but millions, millions of dollars that he took from Ukraine, Burisma specifically, and from uh, China that he was swindling using his daddy's name and profiting off of his daddy. He wholeheartedly come out and admitted all of it. And so he pled guilty. And they act shocked. You, you act like, why did he plead guilty? He doesn't want to go to trial. He doesn't want his laundry aired out all over the place, worse than it already is. Plead guilty, and daddy will pardon you. Secretly. The press won't talk about it anymore. It'll be hush-hush. It won't be brought up anymore. And Joe will swiftly sign an executive order and he will pardon his son. Hunter will go to prison. Probably spend probably a few days in prison. Not very long. He has to. And then Daddy will release him. And then daddy will retire a month before election and he'll give the reins to Kamala. And she will become the very first black woman president in American history. With zero votes. 
zero. Zero. Not one vote. Love and hate Joe Biden, but he got 14 million. Kamala, zero. How far am I? I'm doing good. I'm fixing to have to close up. But um, as far as New York City goes, you guys know they're going to put Trump in prison. If they put Trump in prison and he wins the presidency, then he can pardon his own self. He'll walk right out of that prison. <laughs> you know. And then he'll go put his hand on the Bible and he'll be inaugurated in as President of the United States and then he'll become the dictator they're so afraid of. And he'll start evacuating all of these people out of our country. He'll close the border and uh, he will start cleaning house. And they're terrified. Yep. They're terrified. They know what's coming. And it's a wrecking ball. And Trump is fixing to come in with J.D. Vance and Kennedy. And those three men are about to kick ass. Say la vie. That's all I got to say. So anyway... If you guys happen to go watch Beetlejuice, uh, let me know in the comments below if you loved the movie, if you thought it was, uh, you know, don't spoil it, but if you thought it was a good movie, if you thought it uh, was a terrible idea, if you thought it was, uh, it, it did justice for the original movie, um, there's some new characters that are going to be in it that I'm excited to see. Um, I'm really excited to see. Uh, so, you know, I won't spoil anything for you. But I think it's going to be fun to have Lydia have a daughter just like her. And she really portrays what I would think Lydia's daughter would be. And I just think it's awesome. I really do. And Michael Keaton, to be 73 years old, he looks amazing. He really looks good to be 73. So, um, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I'm just astonished it took this long to make a reboot. But everything in its season, you know what I mean? Everything in its season. So, um, anyway, we'll go see it tomorrow and we'll let I'll let you know in a review. I won't spoil it for you, but I will tell you if I loved it or hate it. Definitely. Um, but to that, let, I'll let y'all go. And I want comments uh, about anything I talked about today. Especially uh, the Trump thing. The Trump trial. You know, and of course we already had the trial. This is a sentencing. And he's been trying to appeal it in the Supreme Court. Right? He got the uh, Jack thing, Jack Smith thing overturned again. So, Florida case is out. He cannot, he can, he, I think he can only do like three appeals by law. He can do three appeals. He is, he has exhausted all of his appeals. So I think Jack Smith is done. Fonnie Willis, her daughter was locked up for alcohol. Uh, she got drunk or something happened and Fonnie's not doing too good in Georgia. That's the Georgia case. It's all dropped out and gone to hell. And the only thing they have left is these 34 counts of felonies in New York. And they had to drop half of them because of immunity. And uh, if they can get him in prison with one felony, that's what they're going to do. And this is the only thing I'll say, and I'll close the video with this. Trump has been alive for 78 years. 78 years. And has never been a felon. Never been a felon. Never been a con artist. Never been this. He was loved. He was loved by the left. They absolutely worshipped him. But since he's run for president, and since he's run for president, and only been in office for four years, all of a sudden, guess what? 
He's a con man, a felon, a horrible human being, everything that the left can lay out on him. But for 77 years, that didn't happen. How funny is that? Get your coffee, guys. Welcome. My makeup rubbed off on my nose because it's so red. <laughs> Bye, guys.